April 29th, St. Peter of Verona, Martyr. St. Peter was born at Verona in the year 1205 of parents who belonged to the sect of the Cathari, a heresy that included amongst its tenets a denial that the material world had been created by God. The child was sent to Catholic school in spite of the remonstrations of an uncle who discovered by questioning the little boy that he had not only learnt the Apostles' Creed, but was prepared stoutly to maintain in the orthodox sense the article, Creator of Heaven and Earth. At Bologna University, Peter found himself exposed to many temptations of one sort or another, and soon decided to seek admission to the Order of Preachers. Having received the habit from St. Dominic himself, the young novice entered with zeal into the practices of the religious life. He was always studying, reading, praying, serving the sick, or performing such offices as sweeping the house. After ordination, he preached to the heretics of Lombardy and converted multitudes. St. Peter was constantly obliged to dispute with heretics, and although he was able to confound them, Still the devil took occasion thence to tempt him once against the faith. Instantly he had recourse to prayer before an image of Our Lady, and heard a voice saying to him the words of Jesus Christ in the Gospel, I have prayed for thee, Peter, that thy faith may not fail, and thou shalt confirm thy brethren in it. Once when exhorting a vast crowd under the burning sun, the heretics defied him to procure shade. He prayed, and a cloud overshadowed the audience. In spite of his sanctity, he was foully slandered and even punished for immorality. He submitted humbly, but complained in prayer to Jesus crucified. The crucifix spoke, And I, Peter, what did I do? Every day, as he elevated at Mass the precious blood, he prayed, Grant, Lord, that I may die for thee, who for me didst die. His prayer was answered. The heretics, confounded by him, sought his life. Two of them attacked him as he was returning to Milan and struck his head with an axe. St. Peter fell, commended himself to God, dipped his fingers in his own blood and wrote on the ground, I believe in God, creator of heaven and earth. Then they stabbed him in the side and he received his crown. Pope Innocent IV canonized St. Peter of Verona in the year after his death. His murderer, Carino, fled to Flory, where repentance overtook him. He abjured his heresy and became a Dominican lay brother and died a holy death. From a boy, St. Peter boldly professed his faith among heretics. He spent his life in preaching the faith to heretics and received the glorious and long-desired crown of martyrdom from heretics. We are surrounded by heretics. Are we courageous, firm, zealous? full of prayer for their conversion, are we unflinching in our profession of faith as we should be?